The gently rolling hills of southern Iowa is a far cry from Scott's adventures in an underground cave. Thousands of acres now occupied by prime farmland was once an ocean of prairie grasses. But a restoration project is bringing back the sights and sounds of a long lost native bird known as the prairie chicken. It's an hour before sunrise on the chilly plains of south central Iowa when a steady stream of headlights begin to resemble the final scene from Field of Dreams. One by one, the vehicles descend on a small parking lot surrounded by acres of restored prairie. Bird watchers, families, and retirees begin to take their front row seats for a show they'll likely hear before the day's first light sneaks over the horizon. This is sunrise at the Kellerton Grasslands, home to a growing number of prairie chickens. A native bird some Iowans may have heard of, but rarely have witnessed with their own eyes. You're really going to see a lot of displaying of, of the males, um, almost displaying like the turkeys do to some degree, in that um, the, the, the chattering of the feet, the displaying of the tail. Uh, the interesting thing about the greater prairie chickens is the air sacs that they illuminate, you know, or um, uh, make larger, and then that's how they make the, uh, the, uh, the humming noise that they do that's really, really awesome. Uh, and when the wind's not blowing, uh, you can hear that for a long ways away. But uh, they're bouncing around, they're trying to um, attract a female mate. And um, if you're out on a lek, there may only be one or two males that mate with several hens. A lot of the other ones that are displaying are not going to uh, get the opportunity to breed because they're less dominant birds. Basking in an early morning glow, Iowa's prairie chickens look as vibrant as ever, but our state's tiny population is only a fraction of what it was one century ago. Homesteaders and the state's first farmers pushed the birds off their native habitat of prairie grass and cultivated the rich soil for generations of agricultural production. By the 1980s, prairie chickens had largely disappeared from Iowa's countryside. The state's modern population rebound has not been easy. DNR wildlife specialist Chad Pop says today's small number of less than 50 birds was decades in the making. We essentially extirpated them from the state of Iowa to where there was, there was there's probably no native species here. Uh, we actually translocated these birds uh, out of Kansas uh, back in the, in the 90s. We put them in several counties, but this is the only place they really took hold. According to Pop, the small number of birds will likely confront genetic viability issues. Caused by inbreeding, future generations could breed eggs that fail to hatch, or birds could perpetuate poor genetic diversity. It would be a blow to one of Iowa's growing resources for bird watching. The boom and hum of Iowa's prairie chickens can bring more than 100 visitors to the rolling plains near Mount Air, Iowa. I saw two blue lines. In an effort to document the flood of springtime visitors, a group of Iowa State students surveyed many of the region's binocular wielding attendants. Bird watching and, and attending this event is a non uh, physically demanding thing. So, people who are handicapped, people who are old, can definitely participate in this event and uh, benefit from it. But it wasn't just old people that were here today. There were families and there were um, kids who were all elementary students. There were some high school students. The economic impact of guests was apparent in the DNR survey. More than 85% of the visitors were non-locals traveling over 15 miles. And 80% came to the region for one reason to witness Iowa's prairie chickens. We can identify that there's an economic impact here with, with the prairie chickens. This then allows the community to get behind, it makes it easier for the community to get behind habitat restoration and uh, the, to identify that there is in fact a value to having these birds on the landscape. Kellerton's springtime stars have a following, and that attention could bring more conservation dollars for an initiative looking to expand. Pop envisions Southern Iowa could one day become a bird-watching destination on par with other notable Midwestern sites. Just like uh, the Sandhill Cranes out in uh, central Nebraska, the uh, eagles uh, at Keokuk along the Mississippi, 
and just a whole host of uh, wildlife species.